name is Zeke Reynolds. I live in Somerset, Kentucky. I currently work for Somerset Fire Department and been there three and a half years as a firefighter EMT. Um, tell me about your uh, fishing experience. I've been fishing for as long as I can remember with my dad and grandpa. This year I plan on fishing the BFL and the Mountain Division, the Fishers and Men in the Kentucky South Central Division. The Heartland Series Division One Kentucky, and a bunch of the local stuff that goes on every weekend on Lake Um, Do you have any sponsors? I'm currently sponsored with Dobbins Rods, Power Team Lures, Hannah's Nail Lounge and Spa, Flashover Baits, 24/7 Bass Fishing, and Outdoorsman Direct. What's your What's your home lake to fish? My home lake's Lake Cumberland. Um, what type of fishing do you do that? on Lake Cumberland. My favorite technique is shaky head fishing. Where are we right now? We are sitting in Central Florida. Why are we down here? I won the Beat to Chill Fish with Ish promotion from Days Boats. So how did you find out that you won the promotion? I had received a phone call from Ish and he just congratulated me and told me that I won the trip and I was shocked. I didn't, it was just hard to believe. Um, so with the, the Fish With Ish, Chill With Bill uh, giveaway, not only did you get to fly, fly down to Florida, all expenses paid, Fish With Ish Monroe, but what else did you get out of that, uh, that, that giveaway? I also got a $500 gift card to Days Boats for service or accessories, a $500 gift card to Lucas Oil Marine Products, $200 to Missile Baits, and $200 uh, for Ranger wear, and then $1,000 off a new Ranger boat. So when, when are you getting that new Ranger? Hopefully here soon. <laughs> so you recently had a serious life event happen. Um, tell us a little bit about that and how it's changed your life and kind of inspired you. Well, on September 28th, I was supposed to get married, and uh, I was out pre-fishing for a tournament. And on September 3rd, I had got a call from my soon-to-be father-in-law, and he was telling me that my fiance was involved in a bad accident and was flown to UK. So I made a few phone calls, and some of my friends met me at the boat ramp and took my boat, and I met up with her parents. We went up to UK and found out that she had a serious head injury and she had a collapsed lung, uh, a fracture in her neck, and some lacerations to her kidneys and liver. And at that time, the doctors weren't really for sure if she was going to make it or not. Uh, so me and her family, as on, on our way up there, we just prayed and I knew right then that everything was going to be fine. Uh, she was in a coma and on life support for about three to four weeks. Uh, when she came to, the, the Lord answered our prayers and she remembered everything before. And she has the same personality that she had prior to the accident, which is very, very uncommon for the type of injuries that she sustained. Uh, she went to a rehab, Cardinal Hill, for eight weeks and is currently making a full recovery. Uh, she She's going back and forth to there a couple times a week for a few more weeks and just building up her strength back from where she was on bed rest for three months. Uh, we had rescheduled the, uh, the wedding to April, so I'm looking forward to that, and, and I just feel like this is just answered prayers from God just for some of the hard times that we've went through and just giving me this opportunity to, to come down here and just to be able to fish and you know, enjoy everything that I love to do. So. Um, watching her recovery, how big of an inspiration is she to you now? It, it's It's really hard to explain. It's just a miracle to see how everything fell into place like it it supposed to. I mean, 
you know, we went from not knowing that she's going to make it to, you know, now we have her wedding plans changed and and getting married in April and just the, her strength and courage and, and will to to make that recovery is just a huge inspiration to me. Um, so first day we fished down at uh, Lake Okeechobee. Yeah. Um, we fished with uh, Bill Day. Um, what type of fishing were we doing, and what uh, what, what kind of, what did you learn? What type of success did you have out there? We done a lot of flipping the reeds. Uh, I learned a whole lot about flipping and the different ways of it, and, and we done some chatterbait fishing. And we got on some schoolers with some yep. traps and spinner baits. Um, did was was Bill Day uh, was he instrumental in helping you learn any more about oh, flipping? Yeah, he's he took me to a whole new level. He showed me just so many different ways and the rights and the wrongs that they all do. And yeah, it's helped me hundred percent. And uh, this is your first time fishing down in Florida. Um, what was your initial reaction once we came out onto Okeechobee and just looking at the size of the lake? It, it's definitely a lot bigger than Cumberland or any of the lakes at home that I fish. Uh, the, the grass and the reeds and everything, it's, it's pretty cool to fish around and, and the fight that the Florida strain bass have is just phenomenal. Yeah, that was my next question. Uh, were you surprised at what, how, how bad a, uh, a three-pound fish down in Florida will fight? Yeah, it's it's crazy. They're just way tougher. And give up a, a really good fight. So, what were your uh, initial initial thoughts about Okeechobee? Or, I guess after you left left the lake, what what were your thoughts about Okeechobee and? Yourself out, buddy. I really, I really like it. Uh, we got to do some things that we don't get to do around home. The catching the schoolers was pretty fun. We had a couple double ups, and I think we tripled up one time, and it was it was a blast. And learning the flipping technique, it it's a good, good bite. So day two, where did we fish? Uh, we went up to Lake Istapoga. Um, why why did we choose to go to Istapoga instead of uh, going back to Okeechobee? Well, I was talking with Ish, and they done a major league fishing there a year or two ago, and he said there was some really good fish in it, so we decided to go up there and spend a day on that lake. Day two, uh, who were you fishing with? I fished with Ish. He was out on his Lawrence. Ranger Z520. Um, what? How did you all start the day fishing? We started and we ran up the canals and done a little frog fishing and flipping around some lay downs and docks and stuff. Um, did you have any success doing that in the beginning? It, it was a little slow. Uh, we caught a few short ones. So after that, um, what, what was the game plan? We kind of ran out to the main lake and started flipping some reeds and following the pattern that we did on Okeechobee and started doing pretty good. Who, who found that pattern on Okeechobee? James Watson. James Watson. Um, so tell me, uh, once, you, once you got to those reeds, uh, what type of base were you using? What were you targeting on? And uh, what was the end result? Well, we were throwing flipping jigs and with missile D-bombs and uh, just focusing on little patches of reeds and uh, flipping in them and we ended up catching a 10-12 and Ish caught a 9-8. Who, who caught the 10-12? I did. What was your biggest bass before that? It was in the fives, about five and a half pounds. So when you hooked up with that 10-12, what was your initial thought? I mean, did you know it was a bass? Well, at first, I, I didn't, and after I set the hook, and it just took off, and 
like I said earlier, the, the fight down here is phenomenal, and it was on. <laughs> Any trouble getting or boating it? I, I, I fought it for a little while, and we got it to the boat, and uh, Ish lifted it. Obviously, uh, that would, I would say that would be one of the more memorable moments of your trip. Oh, uh, most definitely. I think on the way down here, you had told me you just wanted to get a seven or eight pound bass, and you'd be happy with that. So, yeah. with the with the ten twelve, I mean, what what do you take away from this trip? I mean, just it's been an unforgettable experience. You know, fishing with Bill, he's you know showed me a lot of stuff, and then have an opportunity to to fish with James Watson and Ish. It's it was just an awesome trip. I mean, it's something that you'll never forget. I'd like to give a, a big thank you to Bill Day and Day's Boats for just giving me this opportunity to fish with Ish. And I want to thank James Watson for uh, just showing us his pattern and, and, and Ish for putting us on him and Bill. I mean, they've done an awesome job. And, it's definitely a trip that I'm never going to forget.